Hey everybody, Jason with Ursula and Associates. I did an impromptu drop in on my contractor. Just wanted to pick his brain uh, real quick about um, some household maintenance issues. So we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So Lucas, thanks for taking time on your busy schedule. Sure. Uh, I know that this was last minute and you're clearly not like dressed. You were literally in your wood shop working on something out there and making yeah. wine stops or something. Um, what were you making? No, that's right. Wine stops. Okay. You were uh, for the bottles. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just wanted to ask you as we, uh, you get a lot of punch lists, right? So when, when a real estate transaction happens and people do an inspection, things come up. What's the number one thing that you get asked to deal with as a general contractor to fix on houses? Sure. Um, a lot of times, especially being down here in Georgia with the Georgia sun um, and the rain and those kind of things, the major thing is wood rot, and it's usually around windows. So a lot of times uh, down through the years, the caulking or um, anything preventing the water from shedding down around the windows actually wears away. So if you could maintain that by checking your windows every three years or so, just to make sure that those are taken care of. Okay. So as the water is running down the window, in the bottom corners is usually where the rotting is. Um, right along the brick molding. So um, painting, uh, recalking around the windows are very important because those are the things that um, deteriorate the fastest and they're the most expensive to change. So is that something that they can call just a, a general contractor locally to like do maintenance packages on stuff like that? Because usually people aren't calling until the wood is rotting to have it fixed, correct? Well, most times they don't call until they're selling because right. they don't realize because most people actually don't go out and take a look at each window in their house okay. and make sure. And so when you sell, you go all, you know, all of a sudden you hire somebody to come in and go, okay, what is wrong with my house? And at that point is when you go, oh, I didn't even know. I didn't know that was rotting there. I didn't know that wasn't plugged in correctly or whatever. So a lot of times it's just taking that, that step to walk around your house and look at the windows, see what is, you know, what's starting to rot. You'll start to see discoloration. Um, the paint will start flaking off and that shows that moisture has worked its way behind the paint. And so it'll start bubbling or rippling. Um, that's a good sign that there's something going on there. Okay. And so as soon as you see that, doing a little bit of uh, light painting and caulking will save you a lot of money from having mm -hmm. to deal with wood rot and damage, right? Yes. It's an inexpensive way. Just, I mean, cause a bucket of paint is, you know, 30, 40 bucks, depending on what you want to buy. Um, but it's a good way to save money down the road. And I mean, it's, you know, a paintbrush and a, and a can of paint is a great way to save that money. Uh, if you're not somebody that can, uh, a lot of people uh, either don't have the, the ability to paint straight lines and not get it all over their... That's me. Yep, That's me. Sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I um, should never touch a paintbrush. Uh, you can definitely hire um, handymen around the area that will do that because okay. you don't need any, any sort of like certifications or anything for painting itself. Okay. Um, even a, lo a lot of light trim work will be fine because okay. uh, most of the houses uh, built after like the 80s all has uniform trim so you can find it everywhere okay so all right awesome well thank you for taking time out so if you guys need a list of qualified contractors that are in the area uh, that do this kind of work just reach out to us at Ursula Associates and we'll connect you up uh, we'll see you next time thanks a lot Luke appreciate you